European financial markets are trading slightly higher this morning with the UK's FTSE 100 index. Currently up about 0.3%, while the Euro stocks 50 index is higher by 0.4%. In the currency markets, the Euro is little changed against the dollar, while in peripheral bond markets, both Spanish and Italian, bond yields are relatively calm at the moment and not doing much, uh, and that's likely to continue for the course of the day. Good morning, I'm Mishak Sadiqi, and welcome to another Daily Market Bite. Let me give you a quick idea of what's going on in stock markets today. There's not much going on. It is a very quiet session on the whole, given that we have no major economic data releases today and very few corporate releases to keep our eyes on it. And most of all, the US market is closed for a uh, public holiday, uh, which is the, the Martin Luther King uh, holiday. So very low volumes expected uh, in the second half of the session, uh, and that's likely to keep markets feeling a little directionless and also under a bit of pressure. Um, so what's going on? Friday we had a uh, strong finish on Wall Street and that's provided a positive lead for European markets uh, in, in Monday's session. Um, it's been a mixed session in Asia. Uh, generally, the, the feeling with uh, investors uh, this morning has been uh, that the positive tone created by the US that was mostly on the back of uh, some positive commentary uh, around the, the raising the, the, the debt ceiling uh, by US lawmakers, that propped up some sentiment. Uh, however, in Asia, the lack of uh, lead uh, coming in from, uh, from, uh, from the fact that we have uh, no US markets uh, later on today started to pressure Asian markets uh, towards the end of the session and that's putting a bit of a dampener here in uh, Europe as well. Um, now in terms of corporate news, uh, two big stories today. Uh, Pearson has reported numbers which were pretty much in line with expectations uh, but the stock is down um, around about a percent at the moment and it's mostly on the back that of, uh, of, of worries about uh, its outlook uh, which it hasn't clearly addressed in the, uh, the, the update. Um, Staying on the outlook side of things, Richemont, the, the luxury goods maker in France, has also posted numbers. Uh, they were below analyst expectations and at the same time the outlook was much weaker than expected. And that is pressure in the stock at the moment, uh, so it's, that's the big um, miss for uh, European earnings this, uh, in Monday's session. Staying on earnings, we have a number of high profile earnings coming out from the US this week, uh, such as Google uh, and Johnson & Johnson tomorrow, also IBM. Uh, uh, and plenty more coming uh, our way and that's going to be something that investors will be um, contending with during the course of the session. At the same time, Europe's earnings are also in full swing. We're going to have a number of European blue chips reporting numbers. So at the moment right now, investors are holding back from building uh, positions and taking any bold moves and rather wait till we have more from the region's um, leading blue chips. In terms of economic data, we also have some high-profile releases this week, mostly UK GDP numbers and UK labour market uh, figures, and at the same time, we also have uh, IFO and ZEW surveys from Germany, which will be very uh, much uh, eagerly awaited by investors, given the fact that Germany's uh, government have recently cut GDP forecasts for 2013. Anyway, that's all for your daily market bite. Tune in for another one tomorrow. Thanks for watching.